What is going on guys, it's Noah here with Custom RC Mods. Welcome back to a new video. Today we've got a box. Showed up at my house about 9 a.m. this morning from Hobby King out in Tulaton, Oregon. Um, and yeah, it has a lucky sticker on it. That's the LiPo uh, safety sticker right there. It says we got some lithium ion batteries inside. Uh, that's always a good sign. Um, so let's go ahead and just get this thing opened up. Again, I ordered like last week, so um, I don't even know how this box worked, but let's see. That'll do. All right, so it looks like we're packed to the brim with batteries and things like that. First things first right here, you can see we've got two sets of control horns. I've been needing some of these. I've just been using the servo horns cut down and stuck inside. These are pin set control horns, meaning that they have these little pins you stick through the uh, material and they sit in place. So those are nice. Um, the next thing we have here, it looks like some props. These are uh, bullnose props. Uh, six by five bullnose props. Um, so that, that's good. I think we have some more of those in here. Yeah, we do. Looks like we got one, two more of those right here. And these are going to go on the arrow and potentially the goblin um, here down the road. The next thing we have is two seven by six props. And these are actually going to go on the arrow because I found out the prop cavity in the arrow is actually wide enough to fit a seven inch prop. So I got a, a seven by six inch prop, which is a crazy high pitch for the length. But hey, um, I'm really excited to get that on there. Then we also have uh, 10 by six uh, or 10 by four or five slow fly props right here. Um, these are counterclockwise and clockwise. So um, we can switch these around. These might go on the uh, Bushwhacker or the Mustang other power pack seaplanes um, right here. And then in terms of the servos that I've got, these are little 3.7 gram servos. I'm gonna be making these um, in a future video. I'm gonna make a Mustang with these uh, four servos and then that's why I got them. Fairly inexpensive of course, but 3.7 grams uh, for the mini Mustang build. And the rest right here, looks like we've got some batteries. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take all these out of the box and we'll find out what they are. Alright guys, so as you can see, we've got all of our batteries out of the boxes. We've got quite the selection here, all the way up from these 2200 milliamp hours down to this 450 milliamp hour. But basically, these that I have six of right here are $6 on Hobby King. And that is the Rhino 2200 milliamp hour 25C. Um, I'm not sure what's up with this Rhino brand. I've heard good things about them, um, but they are selling for really cheap prices. Um, compared to like the Turnigees or the Zippies or anything like that. But I think this is going to be good. Um, I've been in a forum thread on flight test all about these and we've had some good experiences. we got a lot of people ordering a lot of them. So I got my six right here and I'll be sure to give you guys the rundown on how they turn out. But we also got Rhino uh, 4S 1550s. Um, these are going to be good uh, to use on like the Vigan. We can wire them up in parallel. So this is more of a uh, 3100 a milliamp hour battery if you wire them up in parallel. Um, Right here, I have two uh, Turn G uh, 700 milliamp hour 3S60C batteries. These are going to be for the um, Aero, I think. I'm not totally sure yet. Haven't made up my mind. Um, but if we ever do a high speed build, these can be wired together in series and do a 6S uh, build for the Aero if we ever did that um, or on a different plane. Of course, uh, right here, this is a 850 milliamp hour 3S, a 25 to 50C. So this is a 700, this is an 850, but you can see that this one's almost twice as thick as the 700. So I'm not quite so sure what's up with that, but we also have an 852S right here um, to use on like that Mini Scout whenever I build that. And this one can be used on the um, Mini Mustang. Um, right here, this 450, I thought I'd just pick up and use um, on really small planes. Of course, we have uh, these little micro servos that we'll be using uh, out and about here. So I'm not totally sure where they're gonna be used, um, but I thought I'd just have one of these ultra micro batteries because that was the hardest thing operating a fleet of full uh, 1300 milliamp hour packs is that it's really, really difficult because you have to, you know, some planes are flying heavy and some planes are flying too light. The Bushwhacker was flying way too light on that uh, 1300. It's more designed to fly on a 2200, whereas like the Aero or the uh, Vector or any of those planes are designed to fly on like an 800 or a 700. Um, and that's, that's where it was kind of flying heavy and out of control. So yeah, I'm really excited. We got some packs here. Let's run through everything else again. We got our 10 by four fives. We've got a bunch of uh, six by five bull nose. We got seven by six props. We've got our pin control horns and we got four Turner G uh, 137 
um, one one three seven zero a uh, one point three uh, or three point seven gram servo. Sorry about that. So yeah, uh, that's our complete haul here from Hobby King. Got quite the batteries, making some content. All of these Rhino packs are gonna be so useful in the bigger planes you see behind me, as well as all, of course all the other packs are gonna be great uses as well. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please stay tuned for more content coming soon, especially with these items. I know I'm gonna make some more videos later today. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video.